All right, here's how to flash the BIOS to update the BIOS on an ASUS Maximus 9 formula motherboard. So first we press F2 to enter BIOS screen. And have we missed it? Nope, we haven't, okay. Well, the first thing to do is to download the latest BIOS uh, from ASUS's website and store it on a USB drive. Now I've got a USB drive already connected. So what we need to do is go to tools and go to this easy flash tree utility. And now we can say, well, actually, I'm not sure what this does. So let's just give that a go because I haven't used this method before. Okay. That's interesting. Well, let's use the internet method because this is quite new to me. Let's see what happens. Oh. <clears throat> now the PC just powered off and on again. And as with most gaming motherboards, this speed always takes a bit of time, so we just have to wait a couple of seconds for okay for this uh yeah the screen to come on again. I was I was gonna say uh all right, let's see what we've got here. Um, okay. Let's try that. It came straight to this screen. Please select the internet connection type. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. DHCP. Okay. The mouse cursor has stopped moving. Do you want to download this file and update your BIOS? Okay. So we can do it straight, straight through. Um, straight from the internet because we are connected to the internet do you really want to update the BIOS 14th of March 2018 okay that's the version sorry that's the date when the BIOS was released so I think that's um, the most recent one so let's just click what happens loading new ME firmware so this bit is it downloading the BIOS package from their server now let's see what happens here Okay, I think this bit is just going to take some time, so I'm going to stop the video now and I'll resume once it almost completes. No, actually, you know what? It's speeding up. Let's just wait. It's about 50% uh, halfway through now. It's about 60% done. You know what, it's probably worth stopping this video and continuing it later. Okay, the BIOS update is complete. Here we go. Update successful. The system will be reset. Okay, and it just rebooted. Now, I hope that doesn't mean that the settings in the BIOS will be reset because that's going to be really annoying and I have to set everything up all over again. I believe that's it. Let's just wait for... Oh, it's powered off again. And on again. <clears throat> just waiting. The keyboard still unlit. Normally the keyboard lights will, sorry, the keyboard will light up before the monitor turns on. So it must be doing something. Oh, it's just turned itself off and on again. Uh, 
and again oh, this is a uh, very strange hey <coughs> right so the PC turned itself off and on again about five times and I got really worried because I thought it's stuck in a sort of uh, reboot loop but it doesn't seem to be so and now it's just turned itself off and on again and that was the first time a message actually appeared on the monitor now the keyboard is lit and we can see the logo so that's good that's um, quite positive but again it's saying BIOS is updating do not shut down or reset the system to prevent system boot fail boot up failure okay okay it's turned itself off and on again now I hope this isn't I hope it isn't stuck in a loop hmm. Again, the keyboard's lit. Aha! That's good. Right. The reason I updated this BIOS is because I just installed the uh, Intel Optin accelerator memory. So, the previous version of the BIOS did not support Optane, but this one does, I think. Um, SATA, okay. SATA mood selection must be changed to RAID mode to avoid unknown issues. Right, let's do that. At least we know we're not stuck in a loop. And what I'm trying to do here is, I'm trying to accelerate the secondary hard drive which is a magnetic drive obviously a SATA magnetic drive so let's um, let's see I'm not sure what it wants me to do but uh, let's just have a look here so that's the uh, the, the the hard drive that that we're concerned about no nope, no nope, don't want that Okay, so it's enabled. So we are we are the wrong screen, I think. Let's go back. One minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let's do that. There we go. Now. Hang on a minute. The first this is uh, no. I don't think we need that. No. This is where the Optane is installed, but I don't think we need that. Let's. Okay. All right. can't see anything else that suggests we need to set uh, set the uh, SATA drive to read so um, not sure what I need to do really I'm just gonna give this a go and let's see what happens okay so just continuing from where we left off previously the reason why the previous uh, installation of Intel Optane did not work is because it was a version that was uh, prior to version 16. Now unfortunately version 16 of Intel Optane at the moment at the time of making this video is under maintenance by Intel so there's no way to download it officially from Intel's website but I managed to find it off a third-party website and finally it worked so I've now set it up to accelerate my secondary drive and um, the PC that I've got is an Intel 7700K so Intel had, had only just started to support acceleration of secondary drives on their 7th generation CPU so um, I'm really excited and I've been waiting um, almost 2 years for this moment so it's really great Alright, this is the first time the PC is booted up with Intel Optane enabled so I'm really excited now 
Okay, I'm just going to give it a few seconds for everything to load. Okay, look at that. Enablement succeeded. Right. That's very good. Okay, so let's see what it says once we click launch. Okay, of course we get this screen all the time. So, again, this is the in the, the normal Intel Optin Memory splash, splash uh, screen. So now, um, currently statistic only supported on Intel memory modules with a capacity of at least 32 gigabytes that are accelerating a system drive. Now my system complies with that, so maybe it's because there are no statistics yet, but if we click here, we can see it says Intel memory is enabled and accelerating your system. So I've got a 32 gig Intel Optane memory chip in there. Um, yeah, looks correct. That's a Western Digital Black drive. Okay, so while we're here, let's just take a look at this management to see what what's happened here. So, that, I'm a bit confused now. Let's have a look. Sorry, that's, that's a 2.5 inch SATA drive that I was previously using. That's an MLC SATA drive. That that's what that was what I was previously previously using to accelerate the uh, magnetic drive. This this too is the magnetic uh, Western Digital black drive that was being accelerated with uh, with this disk over here, which is why um, 64 gigabytes are unallocated. Yeah, because that was used by Intel RST previously to accelerate this this. Um that this one that that's a Samsung 960 Pro, this is my primary drive obviously. Now I can't see the Optane drive here anymore, whereas previously I could. So so I think once um once the drive is uh, set up to, to work as an Optane accelerator, it disappears from here. And now I'm not sure whether we can see anything in here. Uh, about this, um, let's see. Uh, this drives uh, that would be in there. Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Intel Optane. Three. Okay. So what's happened is, the system now views the 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 whole hard drive as a as a different device called Intel Optane. Plus three point six terabyte, HDD because, the Western Digital spindle drive is three point six ter or rather four terabyte. So. It's changed the uh the whole device name there. Huh? Now I'm not going to go through this list here to try to look for an opt in, but let's just see if it's here. If it's not, then no, it isn't there. Okay, so let's see what it says on Specky. Right, I'm just launching Specky so we can have a look at whether it picks anything up. Right, so. Again, the the whole device name has changed to Intel Optane Plus. And if we click on storage, well, let's collapse that. That Toshiba VT One Three. That was the uh, uh, SSD MSC SSD accelerator. Um, now, this used to say obviously this used to say Western Digital Black, four terabytes, but now it says. Intel Optane three point six terabyte HDD. Hmm. Okay. So four terabytes D drive. Okay. So now if we come back to this management, um, let's just have a look at something now. One of the requirements to use Optane is is that the end of the drive must have um five megabytes of free unallocated space. At least that's what I thought. Um, but I can't see it here. So maybe again that's something that's done internally and it's disappeared from here because it's it all works on a hardware level. So I think this is certainly a much more uh, elegant and more efficient setup than using a SATA SSD to accelerate it. Well obviously it is but um, this is definitely a much better way of doing it. I mean using SATA drives to, to, to accelerate mechanical drives has been around for a very long time and Optane is the, the new uh, the new way to do it. So um 
yeah. Okay, so once again, um, if we look at the CPU, this is a 7700K KB Lake, and previously we couldn't use uh, Optane to accelerate a secondary drive on, on this system. And um, of course, the whatever drive is being accelerated needs to be a SATA mechanical drive, but I'm sure you, you knew that already. Um, yeah, interesting. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, just very quickly, I figured out why there are no statistics available. Um, I missed out on this crucial bit here where it says it, it only works when Optane is used to accelerate a system drive and obviously on this system it's accelerating a secondary drive and therefore this isn't available and likewise pinning isn't available either for the same reason um, yeah so um, f in order to use Optane to accelerate a secondary drive um, you need to get version 16 and above and uh, yeah once again if you go directly to Intel's website at the time this video is being made it, it, it just doesn't work in fact I can show you what it actually says here um, okay if, today if you were to search for Intel Optane 16 point whatever and click directly on Intel's um, uh, link to download the, the driver um, it says here that the driver you selected is currently not available due to maintenance. Therefore, it's not possible to download any version that's over um, version 16 at the moment. In fact, it says here, a new version of this software is available. But when you click on this, it actually takes you back to version 15.9, which doesn't work with uh, Optane being used to accelerate a, a secondary drive. Um, and under the other versions, there is also another version 16, which is 16.5.1.130, which is the lower version than the one I, I got. But again, it gives you this same error message. So at the time this video is made, you can't get this from Intel's website. So you have to find it from an alternate source. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this is going to be like this for. Um, it's been like that for the past couple of days at least. Alright, thanks for watching.